All right, I'm starting to tear down the 228. Um, I got the head off. I got the oil pan off, which is straightforward to do. I got it in my engine stand upside down right now. Um, it had been rebuilt at one point. The pistons are 30 over. Uh, cylinder walls look really good. Uh, the undersides of the pistons look, look good from here. Uh, I got the camshaft out. The cam bearings are a little rough. As you can see in there, there were some metal shavings and they're a little gouged. Um, a lifter actually had broken off in this thing when I when I bought it. It wasn't running great. And uh, come to find out it was because it was only running on a partial engine. And when I, uh, at one point the valves, a couple valves stuck on me and then it was running horribly. It was undrivable. So I was like, all right, I better take a look at what's going on here. And it had two stuck valves and a broken lifter. I found this in the oil pan, which I knew had to be there because the the upper part of this, it's it's just shaped like a can, right? So you can see this is the bottom that rides on the camshaft. The upper part is hollow and the push rod just sits in there and it rides up and down. Um, the upper piece was still stuck in the, um, in the lifter galley and the push rod was just bouncing around off of the, off of the cam. And, uh, you know, I had a couple bent push rods because the valve stuck and I had the head redone. So I, you know, had a valve job, head redone, head's all good. Um, you know, so now I'm finally taking the oil pan off and I'm guessing when this thing broke and the valves were bouncing around in there, there was probably flakes of metal and they, you can kind of see them there in the cam bearings. So I think I'm going to need cam bearings. Uh, I'm going to imagine the crankshaft journals are probably in the same condition. Um, engine ran pretty well though, aside from having low compression and leaking oil, you know, I'd haul hay in that truck, you know, 70, 70 or so bales, weighs over 3,000 pounds, I'd get it on the highway, I'd be just blasting down, going 60 in top gear, hauling that stuff, so it is a solid engine. That's why I'm rebuilding it. Um, yeah, so getting the cam out is really simple. Make sure you can see your timing marks. Right there, there'll be another one on the camshaft. Uh, that's to make sure you orient them correctly when it goes back in. But basically, once you align the camshaft, uh, the holes in the cam will expose the thrust plate bolts. And you just back those out. It's a Phillips head. You just back those out. And then I stuck a little pry bar behind the cam just to kind of get it behind the cam gear just to get it started. And then it'll just slide out, carefully slide it out and make sure you don't bang up the, the cam lobes and the bearings when you're, when you're taking it out. Um, to get the timing cover off, I had to undo these caps. They had, um, they had a keeper on there goes on like this and uh, it's got these uh, those tabs right they bend up to hold the bolts in place and I couldn't get at uh, these bolt holes so these kind of go in through the back side of the timing cover so I just had to take this off bend it out of the way then I could get at them you can see where they come through right there and now I'm soaking the cover, get that cleaned up. All right, uh, more to come.